Aquarius, hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 3rd to the 9th of July 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. I've also uploaded the monthly readings for July for each sign on my channel page if you want to go and watch those. If you wish, you can. You may. <laughs> okay, but we'll begin. Full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. They're on their way here, Aquarius. They are well on their way. New moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. Maybe a bit of self-doubt around some answers that you want here, but this is about working through those fears because those answers are that close to being here. Love that. Okay, Aquarius. So, 3rd to the 9th of July 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Aquarius. What is that doing there? That's exactly your fears. Overall though, three of wands, seeing the bigger picture, very key to this. The answers you need are coming, seeing the bigger picture. What are your fears here and what needs kicking to the wayside? We'll get to Monday soon. But it's um, seeing the situation for what it really is, someone for who they really are. It may be in a negative way, it may be in a positive way, but your eyes are wide open. It's like that aha moment. And um, yeah, that clarity is finally ki kicking into place here. Monday, the deceiver. May have connection to a Capricorn here. Work through your fears. This is those fears right at the start of the week. But the answers you need are coming to conquer those demons right there. This is negative, toxic, unhealthy energy, self-doubt, niggling doubts. Um, you know, we said the answers you need are coming. There might be a bit of self-doubt sneaking in there. But this is all around taking care of business there, seeing the bigger picture and what it is that seems to be holding the works up. Wow, we'll clarify shortly. Aquarius into Tuesday, happiness, contentment, quite pleased with where things are sitting. So this may be the end tail of this kind of deceptive energy, this negative energy. And now you're starting the rest of the week because it's pretty damn good the rest of the week. This is now the start of this next journey that does bring you all the happiness in the world. Let's hope that's for all of you there. Wednesday, King of Pentacles. It may be quite unexpected. The answers you need are coming. They may be on your doorstep overnight. This is sudden success, abundance, getting control of finances, everything that does start to fall into place here. Maybe overwhelmingly so because you've been caught up in this energy for so long and because um, we are coming into just one week of readings. But this is now about the success and being able to kick, kick that deceiver energy to the wayside i'm going to say there thursday it's taken a lot of hard work the hard work does continue every time you sort one thing out five more things may pop out of place and this may be every time you conquer some sort of demon that's trying to give you all the self-doubt possible this is about kicking that to the curb but then something else coming up cropping up that um, needs taking care of and looking after as well but that comes as well and then your tower moment on friday releasing everything out into the universe letting the dust settle and then building something solid here from the ground up seeing very clearly once the dust settles what it is that's been holding you back and what it is that you take with you now as this next journey does begin into saturday aquarius patience i'm not a very patient person so <coughs> when they say patience is a virtue 
it's a virtue I don't have <laughs> um, but patience slowing things down but that gives you that clarity that allows you to focus very clearly and see things as they really are and again especially after a tower moment it's not something to go rushing into and have it all come back around full cycle to what you have here on Monday and on Sunday to finish, Prince of Cups. Confident the two of you make a good team, an offer of love. It could be a job you love, a home you love, could be love, love, and an existing relationship and somebody brand new. This may be seeing someone now in a more favorable way with that three of wands to the Prince of Cups and now starting to think, oh, okay, you're not too bad at all. <laughs> so this is all about this offer seeing very clearly what this offer is bringing in and this just may be the answers you need that are, have arrived i'm a pisces i love love okay so aquarius let's clarify everything starting with the three of wands overall for the week the hermit two of cups seven of swords there is love here and you are seeing someone in a very favorable way here you're able to also see the deceptive energy the gossip the backstabbing that's been happening possibly around love but a jealousy involved maybe this is about doing some soul searching some contemplation and seeing light at the end of the tunnel and seeing very clearly what works for you and what doesn't monday aquarius nine of wands princess of wands double dose holy shit sorry but look at it this toxic energy this deceptive energy negativity here that's trying to prevent you from moving forward I feel like it may be around jealousy somebody's not happy you're moving forward here You've overcome a lot of obstacles. I feel like you've dodged a lot of bullets, like a shitload of bullets here, to get onto solid ground. And now there is the beginnings to focus on where you're heading and um, trying to break free definitely from those fears that that double dose does actually bring you there. Wow, Aquarius. Tuesday, Ten of Cups all the happiness in the world and again it just may be that those fears have been further back and further back and this is the point that they come to their conclusion because straight away you're into this emotional happiness here let's hope that is the case eight of cups it is there two of wands ten of swords yep right there emotional detachment from what it is that has been holding you back exactly what's there on monday that painful cycle done dusted finished with it's come to its conclusion it's out of the way now and you are able to focus on where you're heading and what's in front of you focusing on your dreams your goals and moving towards those and further and further away from this here king of pentacles wednesday four of cups four of wands the tower and yes it may be the beginnings of the tower moment it may be the first stage of a tower moment of releasing all of this back here a lot that you've been focused on and now that the dust settles you're able to see clearly there's other options around you there may be bigger and better things happening around you here stability commitment wise sudden success feel like suddenly you do see that there is another option here than what this option has always been and um, it's quite taken your fancy it's caught your eye with the three of wands overall as well seven of pentacles thursday get the high priestess knight of cups six of swords i feel like someone someone that's caught your eye here because prince of cups finishes as well um, again existing relationship somebody brand new someone's caught your eye here even though your guard has been up you've managed to glimpse um, a little sneak preview here of what this offer of love is bringing into you 
feel like you are putting some very solid plans into place, taking action to get things moving forward. All the hard work is being done in the background here, but now you're starting to really see someone in a more favorable way. Ooh. The Tower on Friday. Aquarius, the lovers, justice, <laughs> and the hangman. Super energy, supernova energy, I say, when you do get four. Look at them. Four arcanas right there. May have connection to Gemini and Libra. This is your sweet justice with somebody significant. Soulmate, twin flame. Um, somebody that's caught your eye, as I mentioned previously. A decision that is to be made here um, once this tower moment does happen. But working through your fears. The answers you need are coming. There is this offer of love and I feel like there's a very favourable answer that is coming your way together. Brilliant. Into Saturday. Prince of Pentacles, slow down. I know when it's all the first stages of whatever cycle, existing relationship with a new cycle or somebody brand new, you want to go rushing in. As I said, I'm not a patient person either. This is saying slow down. The Prince of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands. It's just slowing down to take care of the drama, the conflict, the disagreements, the backlash that somebody's not happy that you are moving forward possibly, needing to take control of that situation and sort that out before the journey begins into the next stage. Confidence, determination to go after your dreams and your goals, but this love, this partnership, equal give and take, making sure if you you're not doing all the giving, someone else doing all the taking. I feel like this is more balanced than what this was definitely was back here. And this is now taking care and making sure that all of this is cleared up, legally and morally, I say, before this next stage does continue. And you finish with the Prince of Cups here. Oh, well, they flew out. We're going to take them. There's four. I don't usually do that, but they really flew out. Prince of Cups, you get King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. On the outside, balancing it out, Power Couple, Queen and King, with those four that flew out of that pack then. And you are celebrating your achievements, the success, the hard work that's paying off, especially when it comes to this love. And again, it still may be an existing relationship, it may be somebody brand new, but it's someone that's really caught your eye and things are off to a very successful next chapter and you are celebrating around that. Love it Aquarius. Let's see what the universe says. Three of Cups again, Princess of Wands, Seven of Cups. Always say, invite me to the wedding. You are celebrating here. Very compassionate, very giving with your time, with your energy, sharing your ideas together here with somebody significant and looking at all of the options that are available to the two of you because I feel there is two of you on this journey. Again, whether you know it yet or not. But this is about working together, making choices together, making decisions together and celebrating all your wins along the way. Wow, Aquarius. So let us see what Star Temple says to finish. You get number 26, the triple star grid, align. I connect and align with my higher consciousness. I feel like you're very aware that you're onto a good thing here. Hope that's for all of you. Star words, unite, clarity, inner knowing. Tegeta is calling you to unite with the triple star grid that encircles our precious Earth Mother. Multidimensional transformation and higher streams of consciousness await you. You have the power to intentionally link into the electromagnetic halo of our sacred planet for clear cognitive messages. Clear cognizance or clear psychic knowing is an intrinsic, an, an intrinsic, I can never say that word, genius. Embrace it. <laughs> 
Your spiritual growth is being accelerated so you can accomplish your higher purpose. Your stars are aligning and you are encouraged to balance your chakras for clear, intuitive reception. It is your destiny to be of service to the collective. And that is all about the clarity with your Three of Wands overall as well. So Aquarius, that's what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.